what a day. I didn't think that 49 weeks ago, when I first started doing this, what I would do when I came to this, the last state in the U.S. to be doing a GeoGuessr 4. What a momentous occasion. Who knew? I mean, it was a matter of time, but I really don't know. It just became a habit of sorts of just plugging through these. Let's see. Three weeks from now is when I did it a year ago. So sometime in October last year, I thought, fuck it, let's, let's start doing states. That'll kill some Mondays. And here we are. The final. Last. Final. <laughs> end. Of the line. And. I guess the only thing you really can say about this state. As I've teased in the past is. It is a state. Technically. It's a. Uh, I don't know. Notable as it is. Um, unique in its border shapes. But let's not beat around the square gap in the United States. We're talking about Wyoming. This very square with the, no, it's, it's 100% almost a square. I mean, it is a rectangle. All squares are rectangles, and all in all rectangles are squares. But here it is. Smack dab in the center of the uh, west. We'll say this is west mid, west midwest mountain. Smack dab. It's doubly landlocked, meaning that you have to go through at least two states in order to actually get to the ocean. There aren't many other states like that. Um, as you see here, bordering to the north, Montana. To the east, South Dakota, Nebraska the south, Colorado and Utah, to the west, could be Montana, Idaho, or Utah, depending on where you are. It is the uh, 44th state admitted to the Union on July 10th, 1890. Its capital and largest city is Cheyenne, smack dab down here in the corner. Uh, I believe there was a Garth Brooks song about the beaches of Cheyenne. I don't know why that song is just stuck in my head, but it's one of those things where I just cannot get rid of the thought in my head of it. Um, so let's just take a look around this interesting, interesting place. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to at least suss out where we are. We're on a county road. I have a very strong suspicion. In Fremont County, I don't know where any of the counties are. It's, it's a guess. but. Um, I could technically cheat because on the Wikipedia page for uh, Wyoming, it does show the counties. But I don't know. As you can see, this is a... Um, if you were to ask most Americans what they thought about Wyoming, depending on who you ask, you would get some different answers. I mean, the general one would be square. Um, Nobody lives here. Maybe like where? Who? Uh, good skiing could be a consideration. Um, military, Dick Cheney, who was the lost cabin gas panel. Poison gas. Oh, it's a gas plant. Weird. Um, Yellowstone. Some beautiful landscape. And it, it, it's all those things and more. Um, let's see here. As I said before, the capital is Cheyenne. Um, its total area is almost 98,000 square miles, making it 10th in size in the U.S. Elevation, the highest elevation is Gannett Peak, which is 13,800 feet. The lowest point is uh, Bell Forge River at the South Dakota border which would be over, yeah, which is 3,100 feet above sea level. I have absolutely no idea where this is. This is flat nothingness. If you're trying to think of the middle of nowhere, this is about as good as you're going to get. You're a poison plant truck, aren't you? In case of emergency, run. You're fucked. 
going to be dangerous driving if that is a poison gas truck. Also, what are they making the poison gas for? I mean, I think it's probably just like a... What, what are we selling? I want to see here. Kanoko Phillips, you are gas, aren't you? Well, I got to pick a thing, don't I? We'll just put you center in the middle. Kinda. We'll see if I'm on that road. We were in uh, the town of Lost Cabin. Interesting. Um, total population of the state. We'll zoom out a smidge just again so you can kind of get an idea as to where it is. 578,000 people live in the state, making it dead last. Its uh, density is um, 5.97 people per square mile, making it 49th. It's a very sparse country. Median household income is $62,000, which sixty yeah $62,000, making it 20th. Um, as with anything in this region, Montana, if you remember, Colorado, Utah, and Idaho, and this, it gets very cold in the, uh, in the winter. It's a very high plateau. Um, if you look here, you got kind of the Rocky Mountains going this way it can, and a little bit here. Um, you've got some Indian reservations here too as well. Uh, the name itself, Wyoming. Let's see here. Where is it? I just saw it. Well, let's let's start with this paragraph. Original inhabitants of the region include the Arapo or Arapo. I think it's Arapo, Crow, Lakota, and Shoshone. Southwest Wyoming was claimed by the Spanish Empire. If you if you remember what, like it was kind of like this chunk here was part of Mexico, um, and then we took it in the Spanish American War. Uh, the region or Mexican American War, excuse me. The region acquired the name Wyoming when a bill introduced to Congress in 1865 to prove a temporary government will provide a temporary government for the territory of Wyoming. The name had been used earlier in the Wyoming Valley in Pennsylvania and is derived from the Muncie word, Zwei Wamnek, meaning at the Big River Flat. I th it's, it's a weird letter with an X W E. I, I don't, I do not know. Uh, ooh, we're on. Route 87, that state interstate, is that like a, see the way the interstate sign here is, it's all green. Most interstate signs are, as you can tell, uh, blue with red tops. Business 87, so we're like in, why am I in Colorado? I've lost myself, we're up here. 25, well there's 25, we might be on a, well let's just look, maybe we're in Cheyenne the largest uh, city here, also the capital, like I mentioned. We're just looking for 87. 25 goes north here. Although we're right at the end. I am not seeing business 87 anywhere. Oh, well, I guess we're the same road. So we're probably in Casper here, I think. Let's uh, zoom out a bit here and just take take a view suss out the area here um as i mentioned before i think i did the uh state itself i think most of it is uh owned by the government let's see here where is it god damn it i just uh, i gotta like highlight these things so i don't lose it uh Almost half of the land in Wyoming is owned by the U.S. government, leading Wyoming to rank sixth by area and fifth in population of a state, state's land owned by the federal government. Uh, the lands include two national parks, the Grand Teton and Yellowstone, which are, from what I've been told, I've never been there myself. Fantastic, beautiful sights to see. Buffalo, Wyoming. All right, so let's look for Buffalo. Buffalo, here we are. Oh, I did see the green. All right, so we're like, we're like around here, I think. Oh, this is an interesting little, uh, little road here. I'm gonna hit home. This was the post office. All right, so let's find the post office. I, that, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, where is the post office? I have 20 seconds. I'm going to click. There it is. All right, so we're like right there, I think. Um, let's hit home. 
and find the street name of we're on Parmalee at Parmalee. Oh, we were like right there then. Like here, I think. I think I nailed it. All right, so the main driver of Wyoming's economy are tourism and the extraction of minerals such as coal, oil, natural gas, and something called Trona, which I had no idea what that was, but highlighting the word says that it is a non-marine evaporite mineral, whichever, whatever that means. Uh, it is mined as the primary source of sodium carbonate in the U.S. Interesting. Uh, another little tidbit for here. I think I did mention before that the um, official nickname of the state is the Equality State. It's also known as uh, the Cowboy State. As one of the signs you can see if you ever see one that says, like, Welcome to the State of Wyoming is a cowboy on a bucking horse, which I believe is also the logo of Wyoming University. Uh, it's also called Big Wyoming. Its motto is equal, right? Uh, its anthem is called Wyoming. Um, as an anecdote to that, we'll also get into the equality thing because there's an interesting history. Uh, Wyoming has p been a politically conservative state since the 50s, with Republican nominee carrying the state in every presidential election since 1968. Donald Trump won it in by 46 points in 2016 which was the best performance in the 21st century in the state and Trump's best performance in any state. Um, it does have an interesting history as far as um, uh, women's rights and like a first, uh, first for women, we'll say. Um, if I can find the actual, uh, let's see here. Wyoming was also a pioneer in welcoming women into politics. Women first joined on juries in Wyoming in 1870. Wyoming had the first female court bailiff in 1870. First female justice of the peace in the country in 1870. Also in 1924, Wyoming became the first state to elect a female governor, Nellie Taylor Ross, who took office in January of 25. Due to its civil rights history, one of Wyoming State's nicknames is the Equality State. Wyoming's Constitution introduced or included women's suffrage in pioneering article on water rights. Women's suffrage, if you're unaware, is the uh, ability for women to vote. Uh, water rights, I believe, is the right to use water from a water source instead of like a company owning it. Uh, I think Nestle is having a pretty bad, big issue with that, at least in uh, Europe. I believe there's there's some issue with that. Uh, where are we here? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Wyoming was the location of something called the Johnson County War of 1892, which erupted between competing groups of cattle ranchers. The passage of the Federal Homestead Act led to an influx of small ranchers. A range war, which is a type of usually violent conflict, most commonly in the 18th and early 20th centuries in the American West, the subject of these conflicts was to control open range. Uh, it mostly just had to do with ranchers trying to use public land. It was almost like, I, bet, I, I guess the closest um, comparison you could have to it is like uh, South Goshen, I believe it says, Conservation District. I don't know where that is. We're on a very desolate strip of road here. Very flat. Uh, since a lot of government land was for cattle grazing and public use, I think they're like, hey, we all have access to this, but, you know, I'm trying to get more for me because I got mine and I want more and you're stopping me from doing that so I'm going to muscle you out what does this say adopt a highway for what can't make it out are we is this alfalfa we're, we're growing here I don't know I don't know if I'm actually ever going to see a root sign on this road I was expecting a bit more um land uh variation i mean this probably has a lot to do with the uh section of the state we're in but you can look at things like the grand tetons beautiful land out here 
but I guess we're just in the section of it where it's just uh kind of flat. I can imagine this in the winter is just being a giant plain. Road closed 28 miles. This can just be a giant, like, not a wind tunnel, but, you know, 85 south, I believe we're on. Oh, so interesting. They actually put these down. I wonder why. Is it like a winter thing? Or is it related to like 85 South, I believe. This wasn't this 85 South as well. No, it was 87. Oh, I am almost out of time. I'm going to click. We're in the over here somewhere, I think. I didn't get enough time. I'm concerned. Okay. I thought I clicked here in time, but I didn't. I wonder if this is like a, what are we near? I don't know. I wonder if it has to do maybe with migrations or it's just really, really nasty in the winter and they don't have the money to plow it. I don't know. That's interesting. But I got 30 points for that. Um, okay, this is a little bit more varied, at least in, uh, at least in view. This seems to be in the more mountainous section. Oh, this probably, I'm not a motorcyclist, but I'm sure that this is a beautiful um, part to travel through. Let's see what this sign says. Oh, it is not in the brown and white, so it doesn't make me think this is a national park. Although maybe this sign might say something. No, this is just a turn off to maybe get a look at this beautiful land. Although these are brown and white, so maybe... The Phantom Lake. Uh, I doubt I'm going to see where we are here. This is, these are unlabeled. Interesting. Pathfinder Reservoir. Phantom Lake. Alcoa. Oh, Alcova, excuse me. Since this is a bit um, mountainous, maybe we're over here. This Jackson Lake. Jenny. Jenny. Alps. Um, it's a tiny little. Like I think all of these are named. Lake Mountain, Lake Alice. Uh, Lake Mountain is probably the most laziest name for a piece of land you could probably think of. But I didn't name this place. This place is really nice, though. I would like to find out where we are. I don't know if I'm going to. This is this almost reminds me a little bit of New Zealand. Looking at this. Um what does that say? Icy spot. Okay, this is probably because we're in a bit of a valley here. Or maybe it doesn't get as much sun coverage. I'm not really seeing it yet. We also have these places around where I grew up where they're called uh gulfs, I believe. G U L F where uh, it barely gets any sun. Like, uh, maybe in the summer it may get a couple hours. There's just very deep little ravines that the roads go through. And, uh, ooh, this is going to be a nice little view. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that nice? But there are these valleys that just get very little sunlight, so that doesn't really give as much exposure as far as uh, the winter to melt any of the ice. So they stay colder longer. So you gotta be careful for those things. Um, if you've never actually driven in winter or experienced driving on ice, it can be very harrowing if you're not prepared for it. Look at this. I mean, I have no friggin' clue where we are, but we're in this region of the state. Hmm. If I had to guess, maybe we're on here. Like, I don't think I'm going to see Fan Bull at Phantom Lake anywhere here. But it's it's going to be close to it, unless something lies to me, which, you know, wouldn't be the first time. 30 seconds. Are you? See, I also like to think that if we were around Yellowstone, they actually probably would have uh, had more signage about it. It's, it's, it's like a huge... 
tourist attraction, at least in the U.S., and probably for a lot of people in general. Come on. Oh, I do see a sign in eight seconds. Mellow hell. Oh, yeah, we were extremely not close. Is this Phantom Lake? Blacktail Pond. I don't know what direction we were going in, but okay. There, we, yeah, I wasn't, I was not going to get that one. Uh, let's see here, population. It's uh, where is it here? Uh, I'm looking for a number here, and I'm not finding it. Wyoming is second lowest populated station density in the country behind Alaska, and it's the sparsest populated of the 20, 48 contiguous states, which are not Hawaii or Alaska. It is only one of two states with a population smaller than that of the nation's capital. So Wyoming and Vermont have populations smaller than Washington, D.C. Um, hmm. This seems to be back over... Cowboy boots, wall drug. Interesting. This looks to be back closer towards... Oh, hello. What is this sign? That's probably like a local uh, road. East 20. So I think we're down here. There's 20. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. East 20 and south 789. Let's... Look, are you 789? You're Macaster Road. Okay, East is also here as well. Oh, it switches from 18, although it stopped. So maybe it's both. I want to see if it does change when uh, we get to an intersection here. It does not. All right, so, well, it's both actually. Pardon me. Uh... I think you might just merge into this. So you do end. You're this chunk of road here. But you do combine with a South 789. Okay, maybe this will tell me. Gooseburra Creek. Gooseburra Creek. Are you Gooseberry Creek? No, you're not. Okay, we're not near the border, really. Are you Gooseburra Crick? No, you're the Platte. Excuse me, Gooseburra. I think you're a tiny little, tiny little road, so maybe that's why I'm not going to see you. Yeah, these are some 431 and 432. Um, Thermopolis and Norland, huh? Let's get a little closer to... Whoa, okay, we're not doing that. Get me out of this. Get me out of this. Thank you. Let's hit forward. Warland and Thermopolis. All right. We have to do a little bit of look in here. In the minute 30 we have left to try to find Thermopolis and Warland. Hmm. Let's 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 center ourselves here again. All right. Start over here. Van Tassel. Okay, we're not there. Manville. We're not there either. Okay. There's Orin. It is not that. What happened to the route? Did we did we disappear and we did we show up again in like another part of the state? No. So it seems Route 20 disappeared. I'm not seeing a whirlwind anywhere, though. LaGrange, Lost Springs. Um, hmm. I don't know. This one's a bit confusing to me. Maybe, maybe the sign here will tell me. 
432, yeah, I mean, I'm seeing all the information I need, but nothing is really, like, helping. Oh, this might. Basin and Worland, all right. I really feel like I'm nowhere near it now, and this is, this is confusing me. Worland, okay, so we're, like, here. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, yeah, I saw it the last second. <laughs> that is a weird-ass road. It, like... Hey, 2020, 2020, er, we're just going to skeet and go straight north. Interesting. That was a terrible tail around. I mean, I got 5,000, and look how badly we did with the rest of them that weren't that. And there we have it. 50 weeks. Crazy. All the states are done. We have done it. I don't think I got a perfect score in anything. I don't know what my average is, but I'm going to guess it's probably around this, maybe a little higher. Wow. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to do. I mean, I have some ideas, but... Yeah, states are done. Should I go back and start again? Should I do some other countries? Should you guess we're down to two days a week? I don't know. I'm always open for suggestions from anybody. But for the time being, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Again, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, complaints, hints, tips, suggestions of any kind, it could be related to this. GeoGuessr could be to CityGuessr. If you'd like to see more of that, we can maybe pare down GeoGuessr. If you want to keep GeoGuessr three days a week, let me know. As far as this week goes, we've got the baking thing tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, Magic's back. I don't know how much of that I'll be doing. I have at least one deck I'm messing with, which I'm sure everybody is, but I was messing with it a little bit before this new expansion came out, and they added some things to it to make it uh, more viable, I guess. But either way, this one's done. Thank you all for sitting through all of these states. If you made it through 50 states, congratulations, you've done it. If you hadn't, go back and watch. There's plenty of them. You can see how badly it starts and how badly it ends. As far as, like, score-wise. But, for now, thank you all for watching and have a good one. We'll see you real soon. Goodbye.